Hey, how's it going? Salut tout le monde! So, we recently got a question on our Instagram, and this girl from Colombia, she, she said that she's going to be moving to France for about five months, and she's feeling really nervous about fitting in. Mm -hmm. And so we thought we'd make a video explaining some simple tips on, you know, what could help you fit in better in France. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, how you doing? So my name is Charlie, I'm from Los Angeles. And my name is Maya, I'm from Paris. And we started streetfrench.org to help you learn French the way it's really spoken. We mostly focus on using French in everyday conversation because we think that's the best way to learn a language. Mm -hmm. And so whether you're just starting to learn French or you've been studying for a while but you're still having trouble speaking, make sure you try our free e-course at streetfrench.org. So yeah, first point would be to not overthink it because France is not like Mars or anything like that. It can be so much different than from from where you are. So, and and it can't shock people. Like you can't shock people, right? Like, I mean, it, it depends where you're from, but usually it'll probably be okay. Don't mm -hmm. think about it too much. You know, like Maya said, you're not going to Mars. It's people are generally very similar all over the world. And just don't worry about it too much. Just make sure you speak French a little bit. You make some kind of effort to speak French and to show people that you're trying a little bit, you know, in restaurants and shops. It'll go a long way. Mm. And building off of that idea, bonjour, merci, au revoir, hello, thank you, and goodbye are so important. Like, it's so important to say that. Yeah, it's really important in French culture, and it took me a mm. long time to find that out. Because if you don't say bonjour before any interaction you have with people, it's really rude. It's like you're not acknowledging them as a person and they will in turn be very, very rude back to you, usually. Yeah, yeah. it happens to me. I mean, it happens to me. I'm French and sometimes I'm in a rush. I forget to say hello. I just come up to them and I say excuse me and I ask my question, but that's not enough sometimes and the person is maybe having a bad day or, you know, it's not against you. So yeah, just make sure you say bonjour and au revoir. Bonjour when you see someone and au revoir before you leave, before, it, you know, for any interaction you have with people. Okay, also, you know, in French we have vous, which is for people that you don't know and or people that you want to show respect to like your teacher or your boss and then also you have two which is for friends and family and things like that so make sure that you use the appropriate you know form of the word you uh, when you're talking to people and if you're not sure you can ask okay you can say est-ce qu'on peut se tutoyer yeah, yeah if you meet like someone you're going outside and you meet someone your, who's your, your age, it's kind of weird maybe to say vous to them because they're not older than you. Especially yeah. if it's in like a... In a bar like, or like... Like a social setting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can like immediately, like at the beginning, you feel awkward because you don't know if you have to say vous or tu. Immediately say, oh, on peut se tutoyer? And then it's over. Of course the person is gonna say yes, like no one's ever gonna say no and if they do it's really awkward, but I've yeah. never seen that. <laughs> yeah, just be careful because it could be awkward if you ask the wrong person. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> don't, don't say that to your boss, that's kind of weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah. French people, they generally like to eat things that are pretty light in the morning, maybe like some yogurt. Mm. or like croissant or something like that. Yeah, I mean don't fall into the stereotypes like people don't eat croissant every day but it, hap it happens. But they don't eat pastries like the cakes you see in a boulangerie. So in a boulangerie you have croissant, pain au chocolat, uh, but you also have real cakes like little pastries. I don't know how you call yeah, them. Yeah, and I, I didn't know that and so you know the really like decadent French pastries. Like I, éclair au chocolat yeah, or things like that. Yeah, I really like those and I thought you you could eat those for breakfast. And I think you're the one who explained to me that you can't eat yeah, those yeah, for yeah. breakfast. For me it was funny and I was just making jokes like, ah, oh, you're really like enjoying your <laughs> your cakes in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> but then I told you like boulangerie is not breakfast food. Like everything you get inside is not breakfast food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually dessert. So yeah. anyway. So what I mean by French people eat things that are really light. For breakfast usually like I oh. one time I ate rice 
and I had a French friend, and she was like, she thought I was really strange because I ate rice for for breakfast. Oh right, right. And then you thought it was really weird when we were in New York, and I ate orange chicken for breakfast. Yeah, as we well. had the leftovers, and you finished that. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we don't really eat salty food in general, like eggs and bacon. That's not our culture. Like it's more English culture, so yeah. American too. And, and the whole meal like that? No, it's weird. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you know, even now she still thinks that's strange, but... <laughs> when it comes to when we eat, um, lunch is usually between 12 and 2 for offices. Restaurants go until 3 p.m. And dinner starts around 8 and it ends around 9, 9.30. You can, you can even have a table at a restaurant around 9.30. We eat pretty late compared to America. Yeah, you always think it's weird if I have dinner at like 6 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, because in France, kids eat at 6, 7 a. Uh, p.m. So for us, it's kind of a joke when someone eats so early. We're like, oh, you're, you're such a baby. <laughs> so let's talk about restaurants. Um, so as I said earlier, the lunch is between 12 and 3 and then dinner is between 8 and 10, let's say, 8 and 10 p.m. Um, between that, uh, the how do you say that? Like they stop serving Yeah, meals? restaurants are closed at, like between like what, 7 and 3? Or I guess it would yeah, be yeah, yeah. 3 p.m. and 7 restaurants, will be, a lot of re restaurants will be closed. Either they're closed or they open and you can have a drink but you can't eat. Mm. Some are open, so it's weird because yeah. you're like, why don't you serve me? But because the chef is gone, you know, like yeah. he has a break or whatever. So that that's that can be weird. Mm. Okay, so also another thing that's different is that you would have to ask for the bill when you're ready for it. They will not bring you the bill like they do in the states where I'm from. They'll just bring it to you, but mm. here you have to ask. Yeah, but because the waiter tries as much as possible not to disturb you during your meal um, so that's why he's not gonna like bring you more things and refill your cups like that's not like that in French so if you want to have a bill the bill you just have to call him when you're ready yeah also don't say garçon like if you want to call the, the waiter mm. like don't like, I, I've heard of that or I've seen that in American movies yeah it's so funny it's yeah. such a stereotype I don't, I don't know if people actually do that in real life but don't do it <laughs> yeah I think they used to because it's very old-fashioned but today it's kind of rude when you, yeah. when you do that it's, it's like it's just like saying boy like yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's weird <laughs> um, yeah so also if you want to order in French like a like a French person just say je prends je mm -hmm. And then whatever you want to have. Mm. Je prends un café. Je prends un café. Mm. And that's a really natural way to order in French. Mm. A lot of people get that wrong. Mm. And also, if you want to ask them for something, you just say, Est-ce que je peux avoir? Mm. And that's a really polite way. Est-ce que je peux avoir? Yeah, if you want like more bread, you say, Est-ce que je peux avoir du pain? Est-ce qu'on peut avoir du pain? Yeah. Okay. And then you could even say, excuse moi est-ce que je peux avoir l'addition, s'il vous plaît? Yeah, at the end. Yeah, and then after you say merci, au revoir, right? <laughs> very, very important. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So now we can talk about kind of random things on the subject of hanging out. Um, first would be when you meet someone or whenever you greet someone, you have to do la bise, which is very, very French and not many countries do that. Uh, but do that bees, but don't hug because <laughs> that's way more intimate for us than doing like a kiss on the cheek It's not even a real kiss though. Yeah, it's like cheek to cheek. Yeah, it's like um, this like you just like like that And you just, kind of yeah. like make that noise like mm. <laughs> well, I don't do it. I don't do anything. I you let, don't do it. I yeah. let the other person do it. Yeah, but yeah you, mm. Yeah, you just touch like their cheek. <laughs> it's just cheek to cheek. cheek. Yeah. Yeah so also something that's really interesting about France is that you can drink outside. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes if I want to hang out with friends, we just buy you know some drinks and we go down to the Seine, mm -hmm. you know by the river, and we just hang out. It's no problem. You can drink in you know in the metro on your way to a party or you know walking somewhere. It's fine. Yeah, you also said that 
uh, in the states, people can't smoke on the terrace. Now, do you call it a terrace? Yeah, like I guess outside of the bar. Out, like outside of a bar or where, a, where or there a are cafe. tables. Where, yeah. Um, you can drink in a bar. You can smoke in a bar or in a cafe. Of course, in France, because we have the same law now uh, as everywhere. But outside, when there, when there are tables outside, it's it's okay. Yeah. So people in France they smoke everywhere.、Mm. If you sit outside、uh, at a cafe, just expect people to smoke if、mm. they sit next to you. Yeah. Also, when it comes to Paris,、uh, the metro closes very early on, like around one a.m. to two a.m. max. I mean, you can take Uber or any other taxi,、yeah. so it's fine. But so, the metro closes early. <laughs> yeah. So I imagine it's like that in in most cities or all the cities in France that、mm. they close. Some at some point in the evening.、Yeah. What you could do though, what we used to do is we would go to a club at like maybe ten or eleven, and we would stay till six, and yeah, go yeah, to yeah. the metro opens back up, and then come home that way. Yeah, a lot of people do that because because of that, and that's、yeah. why some of the clubs are open till five a.m. The metro opens around five a.m. usually five or six. I think it's five thirty. Five thirty. Yeah, yeah. It's not five exactly five, but but yeah. So、um, before I moved to France, I remember you told me, okay, sometimes things are just difficult here,、mm. and that you couldn't explain why, and that I would just have to see when I got here, and I didn't really know what you、mm. meant. When you go to do anything administrative, it's usually a nightmare. It's it's a mess.、Mm. Even right now, I'm trying to renew my visa, and it's it's you know I sent the documents in like July, and it's still not done yet. Mm, it's、yeah. really common. It takes so long.、Mm. So if you need to open anything like a bank account, that also took me a while.、Mm. And I think we asked three different people in the bank what I needed, and three and the they gave us three slightly different answers.、Mm. Yeah, you always have to like never expect the person to give you the right answer immediately. That's something we we do that now. We always triple check.、Uh, if you have a list of things you need to bring. Ask like it's very specific, but ask them to print the list because they will always forget one or two things, and then you have to do it again and again. And also, if in administrations in school and university, you have to go to the bureau administratif and go face to face whenever you have an issue. An issue. I don't know how to pronounce that, but yeah, it's fine. <laughs> don't don't email them. Don't call them. Like in the university. Go straight to the office. That's how we do it, like face to face. Yeah, a lot of times you won't get anywhere if you just email. Calling could be okay, maybe, but yeah, know, I mean, of course, it's yeah. Usually best to go down there and see the person face to face.、Mm. I learned in while living in France is that I feel like people are much more willing to help you. People that you don't know, on the street or wherever. A lot of times. They're much more willing to help you than you know where I'm from. So sometimes, if you ever need help with anything, don't be afraid to ask someone. Ask where something is. Tell them that you're lost, that、mm. you need help with something. A lot of times, I'll be in the grocery store, and someone will say, "Oh, these cookies right here, they are so good. You need to buy them." <laughs> and I'll say, "Okay, great. I'm looking at fruit, but、uh, <laughs> you know, thank you for that." Yeah. So yeah, people a lot of times they go out of their way to help you、mm. if they can. Oh, remember that story I, where like I was renting that apartment kind of by、yes. Gombeta,、mm. and so I couldn't get into my apartment, and、um, I called the landlord, and she said, "Okay, just go down there, or go down to the ground floor, and there's a guy in a bike shop. He's big with a bunch of tattoos, and you know, <laughs> asking for help." And, I, and then so I was like, "Okay." And I went down there and I asked him, and he's like, like working on the bike, you know, really hard. And then he's, he's just looking at me like, well, well what am I gonna do? And I was like, ah, see if we play. And he was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll come up and help you. And then he ended up being really cool. That was funny. Yeah, yeah. So don't be afraid to ask for help. So I hope you enjoyed our tips for fitting in、um, in France.、Hmm. And if you guys have any more, if something that we missed, let us know down in the comments below. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for watching. Okay, see you. See you. Bye bye. If you enjoy learning French with us, consider supporting us on Patreon. It would really help us keep creating more content and French lessons here on YouTube for you guys. 
Yeah, for only $2 a month, you could interact with us. You would have access to our live streams that are just for our patrons. And you could also ask us any French related questions you may have. You could pay more and get more rewards if you like, but $2 gets you in. You'll find the link down in the description box.